Hey everybody, welcome back to the Ray Hart Rundown. What's up guys, sorry for taking such a break. Uh, Bob got sick. I got sick of work. So, um, what we're talking about, I, we need to continue the conversation from the pre-show. If okay, you so, are, did not see the pre-show, right. sign up for our Patreon at patreon.com slash Ray Hart Rundown. Um, and at the $5 tier, you get the pre-show? No, 10 Ten dollar tier, I mean, dude, ten bucks. Like it's ten bucks a month. Y'all spend get... more than that at Starbucks, okay? It's, yeah, it's ten bucks a month. So essentially, it's two dollars and fifty cents a week to get the pre-show, and you get the pre-show, you get uh, updates, you get yeah, f- uh, you get a discount code to our merch store. You get uh, you actually get merch. I think on that level yeah. too, the ten dollar level gets you so saying, a t-shirt like, or something. I don't for know. For the price of a cup of coffee, a Dunkin' Donuts or a happy hour, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Once a week, yeah. <laughs> Once a week. But um, no, sign up for the pre-show. If you don't, or, or yeah. The, if you want, Patreon, if you don't want that, if you want to get just the extended versions of our, because right, we do extended versions of these episodes, you can get that bonus at, episodes. You get the there's a five dollar tier there. Check out the five dollar tier as well. All any and all support will help. Um, and then of course we have bigger tiers for you know more more exclusive merch or if you really want to be a supportive fan or get in the know on everything that, and even have direct messaging availability yeah. for us. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Um, not that, not that we're anybody, but regardless, check it out. Patreon.com slash Ray Rundown. Okay. Anyways. Continuing that conversation. Continuing the conversation on the there's pre-show. A, we, hold on. A, on the pre-show, we were talking about atomic bombs. Well, no, this is... It, we're past that now. What were we Sign talking? up for Patreon if you want to hear yeah, us talk about, hear about the, what we're atomic talking about bombs that. and how mind-blowing facts about it. But, um, no, there's, a, there's this theory. Because you talked about going into a bunker. Okay. And there's this theory that I heard. And... I say it's a th- it's a theory. I don't know if it's a legit theory or if it's just what this one guy I was talking to brought it up. He didn't believe in aliens. And I was all like, okay, fucking what? How, how can you not? In this day and age. Mm-hmm. I mean, the fucking government came out and said, oh, no, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you know you, there's you. Oh, they didn't say aliens. They said there's, there's UFOs. UFOs. Right. Right. But like. Uh, Which kind of doesn't admit anything. Yeah. Because UFO is just time, unidentified, flying, unidentified flying object. Right. It could be a, a goose that yeah. they've never seen. <laughs> but in any case, he didn't believe in aliens, which always blows my mind when somebody tells me that they don't believe in aliens because like, the universe is so fucking large. They've even found planets that are 28 times bigger than Earth right. that still has the same atmosphere as Earth. <clears throat> so if we needed to get the fuck out of Dodge, mm-hmm. there's a planet out there that will sustain our life. True. But it's just too far to get there right now. You know what I mean? Right. But I digress. So he and I was like, well, how do you explain like the sightings that people are claiming or whatever? And like I mean, the stories have to come somewhere. He goes, honestly, he goes, who's to say that they're not from underground? I was like, wait a minute. Fucking what? He said, like, think about it. If you were, you know. Long, long, fucking thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you, during evolution, Mm -hmm. which is more than thousands of years ago, but whatever. Um, It's kind of like my theory on mermaids. I don't know if we've talked about that. No, please. Let's (laughs) talk about that. I watched a documentary about mermaids. He watched a documentary. And it blew my fucking mind because it's... About the people that swim like mermaids? makes sense. No. This was a documentary about, about hey, mermaids how, might exist. About how it's possible. And it blew my mind. And now I'm actually somewhat of a believer. I think it is very possible that mermaids do exist. I'm not saying they do. I'm saying it is very possible. Hear me out. I, I haven't said a word. I'm just fucking sitting here. So, I don't know what you want from me. During Pangea... <laughs> During Pandora. Go ahead. Pangea. You don't know what Pangea is? I know what oh, Pangea okay. is. This bitch don't know this about Pangea. I don't know if you know this is a comedy podcast uh, or not. No, it was a uh, Lil Dicky song. Oh, this yeah. bitch don't know about Pangea. Um, but no, when Pangea, when all the continents like broke apart and shit, and you had like smaller islands and stuff that also floated off, some monkeys got caught on some of these smaller islands. Yeah. I mean, I know it wasn't also like, it wasn't instant. It wasn't like, oh, you know what? We're just going to like float away. Like, I understand it was over Six millions of like, years. Six monkeys like, what the fuck is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> right. 
But either way, like when that started to happen, like right. they had their habitats like on these like little parts, and then they ended up becoming islands or whatever. Right, right, and they right. Just continued on so on and so forth. Or when they crawled out of the water with their mutant fish hands and became monkeys, <laughs> they became monkeys on these islands. <laughs> this, this fish fucked, fucked a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So either way, these monkeys got caught on this island, and they they couldn't like they had to get food somehow. So they ended up going into the water and they ended up catching fish. And the more and more and more that they were in the water, now they could hold their breath for longer than they could have ever before. Mm -hmm. Now they're in the water so much, their hair is weighing them down. Their hair is just starting to fall off through evolution. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, they gain gills. Next thing you know, they gain... How? How do you gain gills? Evolution. It's it's evolution. You're in the water holding your breath along like, like that. Your body will adapt. It's just like people up north that mm-hmm. are adapted to the cold. Mm-hmm. I understand people up north. It's probably still fucking cold as shit right now. Mm-hmm. But like you're still way more adapted to it than me. Okay. There's people down here from Chicago mm-hmm. that is like wearing shorts and flip flops. And it's like 47 degrees. And they're like, oh, this is great. And I'm like fucking freezing my balls off, <laughs> holding hand warmers, putting one in my gooch pocket of my fucking underwear. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, totally. So you adapt. Well, over a course of, you know, millions of tens of thousands of millions of years or whatever, right. eventually they would like get gills and then they gain the fins. And then they, and I'm like watching this documentary about like a timetable of how it's possible. And I'm all like, oh, mermaids could actually fucking exist. Okay. So, now going back to what if you lived underground? What if you did the same thing but underground? But underground. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have, you probably wouldn't have any hair. You'd be sensitive to light. You'd be sensitive to light, so you'd be super pale. You wouldn't have any vitamin D. You wouldn't have sun. You'd have to try to find that type of vitamin or whatever. Your body would adapt to a new way of living, which would explain, like, the dome big eyes because you'd have to see in the dark you know what i'm saying of what aliens the, would look the essential like. sectoid if you will of right. aliens, right you know what i mean and he was telling me this so grays I was all like, or whatever they call them yeah the grays right, right. yeah so like and he's like that that would ex-, and i was like holy shit that actually makes like a lot of sense mm-hmm. you know to me the big eyes because then you could see better at night and like all of and and yeah i was like wow that's and they're gray they're pale they're not you know they don't see the light of day Makes total sense. I mean, I still, I still think they're aliens from another planet, but you know, do you hope they're aliens from another planet? Well, there's another theory that they're actually humans. Yeah, I heard that too. Uh, from the future, like yeah, like adjusted. Yeah, it's it's continued evolution, uh, which is creepy. Way off into the future that are coming back into the past, uh, which is why they mind link. Because they evolved to be able to talk with each, with their minds, and, and they, that's why they don't have ears and like all well, whatever. But which is another crazy theory. But so I just know. really thought I just like I, I think it's crazy to think about how it is. But here's my thing with evolution, okay? Because like I do believe in evolution. Mm-hmm. I also have you know my own faith and, and things of that sort. I'm kind mm-hmm. of a weirdo. But here's my thing, okay? Here's my only question about evolution. Mm-hmm. Why it takes so long? No. Oh. Why aren't we still evolving? We are. Now, okay, as a species, we're getting smarter. We're right. We're building rocket ships and, you know, giant penises. Technology. Jet yeah, Bezos technology. To the sky with. Right. But why are monkeys still monkeys? Monkeys are still... <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> mm, I get it. Um... Like why? Why can't you directly prove that there's a monkey out there that's halfway between? Why monkey don't we and still have? Why don't we still have some sort of Neanderthals? I don't. I don't know. Well, we do. Have you been to Sweden? Farther south? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've been. There's a few states I could. I'll give you a list. But anyways. But you no, know what I'm saying. I get it. But but again, when, but the evolution. Here's the problem, is that. Actual evolution takes so long to adapt yeah. and adjust. But okay, hold on. But this is but this is what I'm saying. Like that, you know, the crow magnum forehead, you know, goes away or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't now, need here's anymore. another here's a part here's a thing of evolution that they're saying is possible that's gonna happen the longer we hold on to cell phones. 
And that's this. The curvature of the neck. Oh, yeah. Because we're constantly looking down at our phones. They're saying that the next evolutionary thing will be an automatic curvature of the neck where people will just automatically be kind of like this will be the standard. And we won't even know it. It'll just happen. Wow, that's the I I, I was curious. I'm I know I'm on the same boat where you are. Like, why isn't there that a, makes me want why to stop a, looking down at my? Why phone? isn't there a half monkey? But the, but in the same token, it's very much. Oh yeah, they're right. The curvature of the neck because it's just very much like everybody's doing this. I mean, if that you makes walk, me want to stop go, looking at my phone. Go into a restaurant. Go into any fucking restaurant and sit down and people take a watch. Look. I love people watching, dude. dude. I I love and I already said this on the, I know I've said this on the show. One of my favorite places to people watch. I think I've told you this already. I know I've said on the show is Epcot. Yeah, going to any theme park really, but Epcot specifically because it's adult oriented, and usually there's a lot of stuff you can hear, especially parents say to each other. Husband wife shit is so funny. Like if I could get away with just sitting there with an open fucking mic and just record people's bullshit and get away with it, I would do it because I know it'd be hilarious. Dude, my favorite mm-hmm. thing to do, especially this is really great for you guys to do as well uh, for a great date night. I've done mm-hmm. this on first dates, and they went. It worked great. All right, giving away secrets. Go ahead. Um, hey, everybody, we'll take a minute here and talk about Campsite Bio. Campsite Bio started as a solution to the one link issue on Instagram, commonly known as your website or bio link. Campsite Bio works as a landing page for your social accounts. It can be used on any social platform where you want to share all of the links for your brand. So you can get a profile set up with campsite.bio in less than two minutes, and you can get all of the premium links for your brand to that will match and conform to fit your specific link or your specific uh, look that you want only for your brand so that you have analytics, they have um, collaborations, they have all kinds of things. We use them um, for the uh, Rayhart Rundown's bio link ad. You can check it out there if you want to see that. Uh, But definitely, definitely need to check it out. Campsite.bio is kind of the only link you'll ever really need. Yeah, and right now you can get a 10-day free trial and a $10 credit towards a pro account just by going to rayheartrundown.com slash campsite. So what was that, Bob? It was rayheartrundown.com slash campsite. Go to a public area, especially first dates. It makes her feel safe. But go, go somewhere where there's a lot of people. If you look like Adam, this works out well. <laughs> no, go ahead. Um, but no, go to a you know go to a public area that has like a lot of people, mm-hmm. okay, or a decent amount at least, and people watch, mm-hmm. but commentate. Oh oh oh! oh. <laughs> like, dude, it works out yeah. great, especially if you're this funny. Works, this yeah, this also work. This works for a lot of couples. Like, yeah. that's one of the things that like Jen and I will do when we're at Epcot. Is just like we'll take something somebody says, and it, for whatever reason, usually it's an off the cuff. Nine times out of ten, it's an off-the-cuff comment from a husband to a wife. Yeah. And then I will bank that. Knowing she's heard it, I will bank that. And then later in the day, find a moment to use it back to her. <laughs> <laughs> that is so much fun. Yeah, that's it what I'm saying. It's so like, great. But to sit there God, and like, I commentate. I want to the Disney park To sit now. there and commentate, it's freaking great. Yeah, 100%. I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. You see like, a couple that's out on a date or whatever, you know, and you're just sitting there. You know, with your significant other or whatever, and then there you could tell it's a first date, and the guy looks girl, you know, she's all think, shy and stuff. And then I think there's a lot of people that do that though, because I think there's a lot of couples after they've been, after you've been with somebody for a bit that you'll sit there into the audience, you go, you'll you'll sit there and you'll see it like another, another not necessarily another couple, but another family or whatever, and you'll be like, okay, Jen and I will do this too. It's like, okay, what's their story? And yeah. you just make that shit up. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's fun. And it's, we, I fucking, I, I agree with you 100%. I think it's so much fun to do. Yeah. <clears throat> and we should probably try that on this podcast one time. All right. <laughs> Bye. So, um, yeah. So going back to oh, the evolution, yeah, going monkeys. back to the half monkeys. And- you know, I do, I do have my own theory mm-hmm. about with evolution as well. Um, and when I've told people this, they think it's absolutely incredible. And I might be starting my own cult with this. Here we go. But uh, autism. You think autism is what? <laughs> I think autism might be a step in evolution. And even though we look at it as a society, like a as a problem, I don't. It's not. No, 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 no. no, no. As a hiccup. 
as a yeah as like a as like an issue or as a oh as a defect if you will a defect for, i'm a not trying word. to be mean to anybody but no, yeah. I'm, that the public this... persona of autism is it's not a good thing right? right okay and you're saying that maybe it's maybe it is yeah so i'm because what i'm in my theory i mean if you've seen somebody with autism mm-hmm. there's people that are autistic that can sit down at a piano look at the just touch the keys a few times first time they've ever seen a fucking piano mm-hmm. touch the keys see what it does here's a song play for the first time ever mm-hmm. and then be able to play that full song on the piano mm-hmm. they're using a part of their brain that we're not that we don't have unlocked yet right and i think that autism might be the brain kind of kicking into overdrive in that sense for that part of the brain. And I think it's evolution trying to unlock and you might, another part of the brain you, that we're not quite using to its fullest extent yet. And you might be onto something with that, with that idea. With but that perspective. evolution, like you said, takes time. Right. So with more so and more people... Just like, it's a hiccup as of right now, but eventually we'll all be able to like do that. You know what I mean? Well, like, I don't think so much would do it, but I think autism will become a... With that theory... With your theory, I think autism would then at that point become that evolution part where, again, it would just become something we don't even notice anymore. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Something we just take for granted or so we just see. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, but that's that's the my same theory thing, on autism. Because, what autism because the same thing... I think thing, it might be a form of evolution. The same thing happened with... Um, because like with people with Down syndrome, how they have the extra chromosome right, is also considered a form, a genetic form of evolution essentially because you know even though we look as a society unfortunately look at them like oh you can look at somebody and just tell but essentially they don't they look the same follow me on this they look the same as somebody who also has um down syndrome do you see what i'm saying like there's that there's that look you can yeah. look and you can tell and i think it's almost like a different facial structure right to, and to i match. think i think you're right i think it, and it, sounds it could like, be it sounds like they, we say they all look the same they don't but but you get what i'm saying yeah i know what you're saying and that's what i'm trying to say it's like i'm not trying to come across as an asshole or come across like as a bad thing i think i agree i think that is is as much as unfortunately as a society looks at it like oh sad i don't think it is i think maybe like you i think maybe it is the next Right, maybe it's the next level, and maybe all the rest of us are. Yeah, maybe we're the ones that's left that's being left behind. Yeah, you so know? I think you're onto it. I think you're onto something. But okay, let's move See? on. See, see what I'm saying? You're all like, "Wow, that's a good point." Yeah, that, that's what maybe, I, dude. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm starting my own cult. Cool. <laughs> Adam's cult of autism and Down syndrome. Great. We are the future of evolution. Oh. That's what your name stands for. It's autism, Down syndrome, and me. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> Is that your name of your cult? Huh? The cult of Adam? Oh, that You would like a shirt that says, never mind. Fucking <laughs> awesome. I love how you just did that with my name. It's all that crowd work I've been doing at stand-up. Listen. <laughs> Speaking of stand-up, let me go back. I need to talk about the holidays. We haven't talked about the holidays. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, our Patreons may know because they, we, we clue them out on like, a lot of things, but... Um, so, a lot of you knew... Uh, we, we, I promoted for the Off the Hook show that we did for a bit... Uh, my kids, my twin boys, uh, Robert and Blake, came in for the holiday and uh, for Christmas, and um, I was able to actually get a feature spot at Off the Hook Show uh, the day after Christmas, so my kids got to see me do stand-up and do, there's a bit I do about them they got to actually see, and uh, they had a great time, so much fun, and then when we came, I know... Uh, it was either the next night or the night before, I think it was the night before or whatever, um, we played this game called Mind the Gap. Do you remember this? Dude, I, we I loved it, this bro. Game. But we suck at it this game. It was so much fun, though. If you have a family that so has... Much fun. Here's, if you have a family out there that has multiple generations of of like either millennials, Gen Xers, Gen Zs, boomers. or boomers, or whatever, if you have multiple generations in your family and you guys are all together, so we cannot... Old. Much. We cannot recommend more of the game Mind the Gap, and we're not promoting it. But we're, we're not paid promoters for this game or anything like that. It was just so much fun for that in between. Dude, my favorite one is thing. when you get to act stuff out. You pull it's that a, middle yeah. card or whatever, right? <clears throat> um, and it's like, just, a, it's like a charade. Yeah, it's like a charade, dude. Not the, the whole game, just a bonus. Yeah, round. just a bonus round type thing. 
And the fact that I got to charade and act out fucking um, Mr. Rogers. Yeah, that was funny. Dude. That was, I just, I loved, I loved Anyways, every second of that. I just opened up the closet and yeah. started putting if on we're, sweater. <laughs> If we're if you're looking so, so if you're looking for a game that the whole family could get involved in and it's nothing it's nothing raunchy like the kind other types of games that Adam and I play with our family, uh, definitely check out Mind the Gap. So yeah. I, I can't. Me and Bob suck at the headlines portion of it. Yeah, we can't we can't do headlines for nothing. We couldn't get past it. That's where we got stuck, and that's why we lost. <laughs> but we had a good holiday. Um, it was fun. I mean, we always have fun on the holidays. Yeah, we still Dude, get to do the giant Twinkie. I keep putting it off yeah, every episode. So we're going to have to figure that out. But So I went to the mall. Why? Um, I needed a last minute gift. And so I decided that the mall was the best place to That's go. That's what you thought it was the genius You know, the week of, of Christmas. Of, the, of all the places to shop. Yeah. Like how last minute? Like about to give it to somebody in an hour? A week before. Oh, a week. Oh, yeah. Time to get it at Amazon. Well, not really. Amazon was so behind. Yeah, Amazon was really far behind. I remember Amazon was like two days, and then they, I did something on Amazon. They're like, mm, 12, How about two weeks, twelve days. I'm like, twelve <laughs> days. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, twelve days Christmas. I'm like, that's not funny. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so I, I go to the mall, mm-hmm. and it's, it's like there's a giant tent. Like Cat Country is fucking van is there, like okay, and there but there's nobody around it. And it so but it's taken just, up like half the freaking parking lot, so I'm all like, and you, there's like giant semi trucks. You just jumped in, and started DJing. No, like, <laughs> but no, like, and I was just all like, but there's like, there's nobody in line, and like, there's nothing going on, but it's taken up like a lot of the parking. And I'm okay. all like, why the hell would you do this a week before Christmas? Take up half the parking, and then I see a sign, and it says, uh, twenty, uh, twenty steaks for forty dollars. Okay. And I, my thought outside? process... Yeah. Outside the mall. Yeah. So somebody in the parking lot's got a sign. Somebody's selling steaks out the back of their trunk. It's a big-ass truck. Like a semi. Yeah, it's a semi-truck. So, okay. And I forget exactly what they called it, but dude, it was they like... They called it a scam is what they call it. $2 steaks. No, I get it. $2... $40 or 40 Yeah, $40, 20 steaks. No, you told me. Yeah, yeah. Like, I... Have they not seen Dahmer? Like, I'm not... <laughs> oh, none of these steaks were wrapped? They were just raw steaks? Just... I don't know. Oh, I didn't go. I thought you went. <laughs> no. I thought you going to make a, uh, like a, uh, no, a whole bit dog, about this. No, I go to Costco for my steak, okay? I don't... I'm not... No. A USDA approved steak is all I intake. I, I just thought it was weird that, like, do people actually do that? Yeah. They buy meat off a truck? Yes. People will buy fruit off the side of the road. They will buy roses from a dude at the corner. People will buy shit wherever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Dude, like a pack of hot dogs is five bucks. I'd rather eat that than the $2 steak. Be, be that as it may. I'm just saying that like people people are weird. People are weird. I just thought it was weird. Yeah, I just thought it was. It was like ribeyes too. I'm so like, you didn't buy any? What? No, fuck no. I didn't okay. buy any. All right. I mean, I thought about it. Have you changed? <laughs> like, <laughs> I thought about it. I was like, oh, well, I mean, Christmas gift, 20 steaks. Yeah, 20 steaks. This, is, this is a pretty good Christmas gift. <laughs> oh, uh, um, Jen's mom sent us a whole cooler box of oh, that's, Omaha steaks. That, yeah, but that's that's Omaha steaks. I know, it's like you know serious. I mean? like, you yeah. can't even fuck around with it. So Yeah, that's that USDA. Dude, I had we had burgers the other night from Omaha, the Omaha steak burgers and... They're amazing. Anyways, I've so, been yeah, not promoting. The, I've not been, promoting. I've been eating the wagyu's. Not, but not promoting. Burgers. Those are good too. Yeah, real good. Um, okay, so the here we go. New Year's. New Year's is always crazy. As a bartender, we're not going to get into it. But as a bartender, I can imagine your shit was psycho that night. I don't. I don't want to get into it. Let's just say it wasn't as bad. It wasn't as bad. Is this so? This this we was held not a the, line. This was not. <laughs> this was not the worst year. No. Okay. That's all. We don't need to go. Nah, into, it's, it's, it's pretty good news. It's what do you expect? So to be at work, so it sucked. But yeah, it, sucked. it was New Year's. Yeah. Um, I had COVID, so clearly New Year's was like I was over yeah, it. That really sucked. And I was trying to watch the stuff on TV, and all of the oh, um, Bob's balls drop, dude. Bob Hope, not even Bob Hope. Bob, no, it's uh, Dick Clark's. Dick Clark. Um, yeah, that's with Ryan Seacrest, and that's dumb. 
Then they did this other thing with Dolly Parton and Miley Cyrus. And that was kind of, it was kind of adorable because there's, that's two generations like so far apart. And so it was, say, I think there's a few generations between them. Yeah. Right? I was going to say so far apart. <laughs> um, they were okay. And then I was trying to, and then Jen flipped it to CNN, which you immediately think, oh God, CNN. But CNN used to do this thing with Kathy Griffin. Kathy Lee Gifford? Nope. Not Kathy Lee Gifford. It was Kathy Griffin, <laughs> the comedian. This is before right. she got fucking canceled for that dumb bullshit but uh, it was like Kathy Griffin and Anderson Cooper and they would get lit up on there they would get lit and this other guy I can't remember his name but there was another CNN correspondent guy like get drunk yeah dude they would get by the time midnight hit they were just fired up like it was and this year this year CNN said nobody's drinking um, it was the most boringest shit to watch ever. <laughs> CNN fucked it up. Like people on Twitter were like, "Fuck this show." Yeah. Like it was so bad. It was so bad. Like they do this one. I can't think of the the, the CNN guy's name, and I apologize. But there's there was a CNN anchor that does his from his hometown in Louisiana. So you figure Mardi Gras, it's fucking chaos. He always goes to this one bar. He's always fucking lit up by the end, and it's hilarious to hear him talk and rant about stuff. And it's it's great. It's one of the New Year's greatnesses but cnn told him you can't drink so it was the most boring fucked up dumb shit it was like watching local news it was so stupid (laughs) i was so disappointed i just was like click off don't Mm. even care whatever so don't do that again cnn you fucking read okay anywho um but uh, so go here's day downtown got swatted from what uh, somebody reported an active shooter on my street that I live on, actually, mm-hmm. uh, but in the downtown area. Wow. There was, yeah, dude, there was uh, nobody there. But... There was nobody there. There was no, there was no active shooter. But, Take yeah, chances. dude, like, cops, like, barreled down the freaking road, searching all of the city, and no one. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, like, somebody brought a, a good point to me is that I think that somebody did it to try to see uh, response time. I mean, you could. You like, could you that's could, a good point. Yeah, but. you could kind of like, oh, well, did they do it because of this? Did they do it because of that? And yeah, I don't know. But that was the excitement for New Year's Day. Um, <laughs> do are do you, are you doing New Year's resolutions this year? No, I am. I, I am, and I knew I was going. Why to. set myself up for failure? I know that. It's no, like, <laughs> like, no, I'm good. I'm just gonna do me. We're a weekend, and I'm already like, mm, I'm just gonna yet. do the best I can. And live my life to the best way possible. I have goals, but I'm not going to try to... Those are New Year's resolutions. Okay, but I'm not going to try to make those goals happen within a time frame of this year. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I have to have this done by the end of this year. No. You know what? These are my goals. I'm going to accomplish them when they get accomplished, but I'm still going to go headstrong at them. Right. I'm not going to call it... What's one of them? uh, All right, stop. We get it. What's one of them? Quit the day job. (laughs) The... But there's no, there's no, by this year, <laughs> there's no end date. We all want to quit the job, Adam, okay? <laughs> I get it. <laughs> nothing, nothing I more know. short-term. Aside from quit Take a the, vacation? Okay, that's good. Just that's not thing. go to work? <laughs> not, <laughs> not do work stuff? Um, No, I mean, no. Cause like I'm just still gonna do what I've been doing. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna get back into the gym, of course. Uh, I've kind of the holidays kind of gotten away. I was going to, and join then I got sick. I was sick over New Year's as well, but I wasn't COVID sick. I was gonna. Uh, I was looking at it too. I was like, oh, I was gonna join the the gym. I'm just gonna do. I think I'm just gonna do the Planet Fitness thing. That's just what like I do. ten bucks it's a cheap. month, just whenever I can, because it's like whatever, you know. Well, you're married. You don't have to, you know. I don't have to be special about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm single. But so it just, gotta... it, it, here's the thing is that it would just make me feel better. I always felt better about myself. That's another thing, too, is that it's like feeling good. That's mm-hmm. the reason that mm-hmm. I go. It's not Confidence the looking level. good, it's the feeling good. It's the, you know. Have you seen the commercial the for the serotonin levels? Did you see the commercial for Planet Fitness, the new commercial yet? I saw one of them. Do you fucking, I don't know if I have it on my shit. <laughs> Uh, I want to pull it up right now. It, uh, uh, it. I don't know how it has not been taken down. They've edited. It, it they've edited. They've not edited, appropriate. Edited. <laughs> the, the one, one I saw was the one. Not I, the one I showed you, right? The one I showed you earlier. Yeah. 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 
I'm gonna play it for the. Um, I was by low E. Millions are suffering from low energy, commonly called low E. Conga line around the family room? Not with my low E. With my low E, I can't even blow this guy. <laughs> and stop. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Who, dude hold up a balloon and said, with my low E, I can't even blow this guy. If this was a radio commercial, it's a whole nother monster. <laughs> I'm going to keep playing it, though. Planet Fitness replaces Low E with Big E, which keeps you energized and glowing all day. Simply join through the free PF app. $1 down, $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends January 12th. Look at my wieners now. <laughs> see, I didn't see that part. <laughs> uh, okay, that's all I wanted to... Yeah, and then she comes in at the end like, look at my wieners now. Because she starts out the commercial like, my wieners won't like go in. They like, fucking hold... Like, she pushes it through the hole and it drops... It's a whole bunch of innuendo. It's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. But they've edited it a couple times in different time slots. And what's playing? There's something. <laughs> it's playing on your TV, whatever it is. There we go. Okay. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I was like. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Some background elevator music. Yeah, right. Um. So no the uh, but they play edited it a couple times to where the dude's like I can't even blow this guy and they took that part out. And there's another cut where he's holding up. He goes I can't even blow up this balloon. Like he, you know what I'm saying? There's a couple of takes that they've done, but that one that first time I saw the commercial, she did the wiener thing at the beginning and he's like I can't even blow this guy and then like they do the whole thing. She's like Look at my wieners now. I'm like Holy crap! I'm Jordan Planet Fitness. That shit's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> yeah, if you can get me on advertising. On, if you get me with comedy on advertising, yeah, okay, I'm in. I'm in. Like yeah. I'm sold. You don't have to show me the. I don't even. You could be selling wheelbarrows. Wheelbarrows. Okay. Wheel. I don't even need one. No. You make that shit comical. I'll fucking buy one. Done. Hilarious, like, dude. Seriously, I. That's why I use Doctor Squatch. Because it's funny. The first commercial I saw, I was sold. I literally spent seventy dollars. On like 10 bars of soap. Wow. Because he got me with comedy. He was just like, uh, God, what did he say? Oh, he said that using regular soap or whatever, like bars of soap you get in the store, can lead to dry skin, mm -hmm. um, low... E? <laughs> yeah. Can't even blow this guy? Um, <laughs> no, it's like dry skin, depression, and... Um, low sperm count. I have never heard that, but oh, I, because it's like dish detergent or whatever, okay. like it absorbs into your skin, it can cause depression, right. dry skin, and low sperm count. And then the camera cuts, and he just turns to the camera, and he's all like, "Your poor balls, all dry, empty, and sad." <laughs> and I lost it, bro. <laughs> like I laughed so goddamn hard, I spent seventy dollars on ten bars of soap. Wow, like. He's, he, and then, like, every commercial after that, dude, was just, like, one dude's crying. He's like, why aren't they clicking on the link? Your poor balls. <laughs> and I just, like, dude, like, it was great, bro. And I still use Dr. Squatch, like, to this day. So, but now you can buy it at Walmart for, like, five bucks a bar. So, yeah. It's it's all marketing, bro. Dude, it, like it's said, all marketing. You can, is it natural, you can though? Make but here's laugh. the thing. Is Dr. Squatch, yeah, did yeah. Dr. Squatch, is it natural? It's all natural, yeah. Okay. So, um, but no, it's, and dude, honestly, like, it's because I went back to like the detergent soap, mm -hmm. if you will. And I could tell a huge difference, to mm. tell you the truth. They're not sponsored by this episode or mm -hmm. anything like that. But I can tell a huge difference. Like, um, I'm using the detergent stuff right now. My hands are itching. Like, the skin's not as soft as it normally is. You should uh, try a bubbly bath and body. Just saying. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, here's the thing: is that I've got, here's the thing. I've got so much different things. Like I've still got bubbly bath and body product from when they sent it to us. Yeah, I've got. I, I mean, I still got freaking. Um, well, I can't think of. There's another company 
There was another. another well, I'm I'm using their bar next. Well, there's another like, company. I, the reason that I it's I had one that was already open of that detergent stuff right, before right, right. I had the. That's what bath. that's what I'm saying. Like I've got so many different types. It's kind of like yeah. uh, I don't like I've run out of Doctor Squatch. Right. And that's why. And but I had one of the other ones that was already open. Mm-hmm. So I'm just finishing that. That's what. And yeah, that's that, what I do and, too. But like when that's gone, I'm I'm opening. I'm finally opening up the bubbly bath and body soap. The bar but soap. like their beard, their beard oil, I still use. Mm-hmm. As you could tell. Hey, everybody, take a minute here and talk about Bubbly Bath and Body. Yes. BubblyBathandBody.com is a small but motivated company that specializes in... I'm going to stop spitting on the microphone for a second. (laughs) They specialize in uh, skincare products that are natural and plant-derived. So if you're looking for something to make healthier decisions for you and your family and to make better decisions for your skin, then you definitely got to go to BubblyBathandBody.com and check out the Ray Hart Collection. It is a pre, like, made pay package deals of different things that we've talked about last season, uh, or what's just what they're named after, and they're pre, they're like pre, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like pre-packaged, pre-packaged, pre-made, pre-done up, approved. They kind of go together, <laughs> like everything in the package goes together. I don't know the word, so I I'm not pre-assembled, good. pre-assembled. There you go, pre-assembled, pre-selected packages, if you will. Uh, to go and if you go there and you see one of those you can get one of those discounted not only that but you can actually get an additional discount for anything on the site by using the code rundown at checkout to get yourself how much 20 percent off 20 percent off that's right so anything at bubblybathandbody.com use code rundown to get yourself 20 percent off all you have to do is just go to bubbly bubblybathandbody.com uh you want to do filthy trivia though i don't yes. want to get too, too far into this episode because we're already 30 minutes <laughs> In. Oh, wow. Uh, this is an easy one, though. You ready? Yeah. Start the music. Here we go. This is totally off topic, though, from what we've been talking about, though. Ready? That's ah, fine. If you need to visit the emergency room, okay? If there's ever a time you need to visit an emergency room, just do not, do not go on this day because you're least likely to survive. Jesus Christ. Yeah, dark. Here we go. Is it A, Monday, B, Thursday, C, Saturday, or D, Friday? Mon- oh. So it's either Monday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. No, it's probably it's either Monday or Friday. So apparently, you can either most likely die on one of those days. Monday, Thursday, Saturday, or Friday. I have theories as to why you would die on all of those days, except for Thursday. Because Thursday's weird. Thursday, I feel like you you might be all right. All right. It's either Monday, Friday, or Saturday. It's either going to be Monday because the doctor was partying too hard all weekend. He can't think straight. That's, you're going off of the fact that there's Dude. a young doctor. You're Doc- on because the old men. What? Okay. Bartender, bro. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, right I stopped. I stopped it. I stopped myself. Those old doctors can drink, son. A lot. You should see them at their Christmas parties. Ooh. One of the nurses grabbed my dick. Um... Uh, she was not like the nurses that you see in those videos. She was like, cough. <laughs> You're like, I can't. She was thrice my age. Um, and I'm 30. Uh, no, but... Uh, damn. Monday, because he's like they either party too hard or they're like, fucking Mondays, man. You know what I mean? I do. And they just don't care. Okay, you run out of time, though. Or Friday or Saturday because they're seeing so many people because usually on the weekends is when you get into shenanigans. Okay. Final answer. Saturday. In the deepness of the shenanigans. Correct. Yes. Saturday was your absolute worst day for you to go to the hospital because you're most likely to die. Here you go. So if I get hurt on a Saturday, I'm going on a Sunday. You're like, up. Pray for me. <laughs> Heard. Yeah. If I could survive the 24... But here's the thing. If I could survive the 24 hours from the Saturday to the Sunday... Right, right, right. I probably just won't go. <laughs> like, I'll probably be like, hey, I made it this long. Yeah. I'm sure I'll be fine. Rub some dirt on it. It'll be fine. Let me just wait till tomorrow and see how I feel. Oh, bones still sticking out? Just rub some dirt just on it. Just put some... Yeah. You got, some, go- you got some Neosporin? Do you have any gauze? Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, rub? I want to... <laughs> I would like to... I'd like to surprisingly enough I was going to say uh, there was something else I want to talk about I can't think of what the hell it was now oh uh, we need to bring up and mention the um, up and coming 
other podcast that we're going to start. Yes. We're going to be doing. So there's a new podcast that we're starting, and it's not the Ray Hat Rundown. We appreciate all you guys doing the Ray Hat Rundown. We're going to keep yes. doing the Ray Hat Rundown. That's uh, me and Adam thing. It's a weekly thing. Uh, but there's going to be another podcast where it's not so often. It's it's almost it's almost probably going to be, I dare say, twice a month. I'd like to do more. I like to if, do. I mean, it's going more. to start at twice. It's going a month. to start, yeah, like probably twice a, twice a month or what? It's going to be one of those things where it's like there's no consistency on it. This is so sad to say out loud, but there's not going to be. It's not going to be a specific consistency of it mm-hmm. um, until we get a better scheduling. And yeah. the reason being is is because it's going to be. It is called. I'll use magic finger here so you can see that actually because I've already got a logo. Uh, it's called the Stand Up and Film Podcast. Yeah, so you can see it there. This is the new. This is the icon you want to look for on Spotify or Apple or Google or whatever you use for your podcast finds. Um, preferably Spotify. Uh, the um, the Stand Up and Film Podcast or SUF Podcast is going to be Adam and I um, with our friend Carl Remy uh, talking about movies and film and com and stand up comedy. I mean that's the. I mean the idea behind it again. It's called Stand Up and Film, not yeah. like Hey Stand Up and Film. It's going to be Stand up and film podcasts, it's but it's all. a kind of a double entendre for it. Right, like, it's it get works. off your ass and go film some stuff. Yeah, it's time. Yeah, so we're gonna be talking with comics. We're gonna be talking about uh, people with movie sets. We're gonna try to get in with some of the actors and stuff that we know and get on sets to do the podcast and talk with people. And when we start filming, we'll be doing it on the set on our own, our right? Own, you know. But the idea project. is that this podcast, that podcast, will be more of a traveling one. So it'll be one you definitely want to watch, um, which is why I'm going to say Spotify. And it eventually will end up on having its own YouTube channel and that type of thing. It might even I might just spin it off onto the Ray Hart Rundown channel and just do a Yeah. And just do it right on there. So if that being said, make sure that you go to our YouTube channel and like and subscribe. Okay, oh, here you go. Make right to the big thumb. In the middle of the table here, as you can see. Like and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. It helps us out with the algorithm so people can see us more. So we get more subscribers. So maybe eventually, Adam and I can actually get paid to do this, and we can do it two times more and, and have more better and items. And then I can quit my day job. Then you can quit your day. See full circle. See full circle to full my circle. New Year's resolutions, guys. Yeah, you guys. All right. <laughs> Help me complete my New Year's resolution. I'm tired of serving alcohol to doctors. doctors. <laughs> <laughs> um, Drunk nurses that want to take advantage of right. me. Right. <clears throat> Um, pretty soon, uh, you'll be able to, if you follow, if you follow me, just a side note here, if you follow me on Instagram and you go to, I have a bio link, uh, done through campsite, one of our sponsors, if you go to campsite.bio slash Bob Uh, you can actually check out, um, I'm going to end up eventually having a schedule of where I'll be doing stand up locally, where I'll be trying out new bits and things like that. People keep asking me, Oh, when's your next comedy gig or when's this or when's that? Like, a it, at the club, as far as a club show goes, as far as like a big club show where I do like all you know actual solid bits and really you know solid stuff, I don't know that that stuff will promote on this show when it happens. Um, there's a chance I can say this right now. There's a chance uh, of me gonna be at um, the Speakeasy Comedy Club in Delray uh, uh, the 25th of January. I, I I don't want to say it's definite because I'm not on the roster. I'm not on the marquee for it. But there's a good chance I might I might pop in and feature there. I, I don't want to say yay or nay, but if you're in the Delray area and you listen to this podcast, definitely go check out that Speakeasy Comedy. Comedy Club. Our boy Carl will be headlining that day for sure. And usually when you see Carl, I usually try to sneak in on his shows if I can. So I'm not going to lie. You'll just see me in the back. <laughs> just hanging out. Just, um, but as far as me, I'm that guy. Yeah, but going forward, if you yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting schedules and things like that soon. Different places where I'll be doing. I'll just sne- I'll usually just pop into an open mic just to try new bits out. So if you want to just come see me and say hi, or anything like that, um, there's different places uh, I'll have available posted on there for people to see. So everyone keeps asking. Everyone keeps asking me, oh, when are you gonna? When's the next time I can see you do comedy? When's and surprisingly enough, it's like people from my day job that that came to that show that we promoted. And then when I showed up, when I did popped in and did off the hook the day after Christmas, there was there was people I, that didn't get to see the promoted show and got to see that show, and so they came up to me and they're like, "Oh my god, you're so funny!" And like it was it was great to see. Oh, like I was so glad more people actually were able to see it done. Am I going to post my stuff online? No, not yet. Soon, eventually, but yeah. not not till I'm happy with it. 
really. When I'm 100 percent happy with the, with well, the it's just bit. like anytime you ever go to like a comedy show of mm-hmm. like the big name, you know, comedians, you always see no cell phones, right? Or they'll take your cell phone, yeah, you know, and stuff like that, because they don't want their material being leaked out onto the right. internet before a special, but also because they're still working out the bugs. Yeah, I, I, I still there's certain things I'd say like even on that show that we promoted from the December 7th show, or whatever. There was a punchline I missed. There was a couple of other yeah. hits that I missed, and and I looked back at the the playback because we tape everything we do. I looked back at the playback and I went, "Holy crap! I can't believe I missed the, the entire punch the punchline of that whole freaking end." And, yeah, it's like a and I it's a been long doing, bit, and I haven't been doing comedy long enough to to I get. I'm not a, I, honestly. I'll be honest with you. It's like I haven't been. Everybody knows they've been following me. I mean, our fans have been following me on this when I've been talking about it. I was talking about it for months, and I wanted to do it, and I finally started doing it. So you guys know how new I am to this whole world of comedy, and it's the cool part. In is the cool part is is that the comics, the comics in it have been so welcoming. Like all of the comics that I've met have been on board and welcoming, and it's this great, wonderful community of people that are trying to lift each other up, and I and I'm so happy to be part of that. The club side of it and the Booker side of it, it's a much that, that's crazy town. <laughs> it's it's a little darker. Like I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus, but of all the Bookers and comedy clubs and all this other stuff that I've had to just deal with this couple of times, you know, this couple of months that I've been doing stand up, it's like, whoa, yeah, because we've like been, calm we, down. Like, like you're you're almost to a weekly schedule, so you've been looking at a lot of different comedy clubs and like yeah. different, and it's 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 a fucking process. Yeah, it's like uh, you have to hustle. Yeah, if, if there's a lot of hustling to get yourself out there. But I'm gonna like yeah, I'm gonna do it because I want to work on. There's a lot of stuff I want to work on. I've got new ideas all the time. I'm constantly writing things down on my phone, so I'm just gonna be. I'll be honest with you. By the end of this year, I'll be straight up honest with you. I think by the end of this year, I will have an hour's worth of material. I will have a special's worth of material by Christmas 2024. Three is that what you're wearing? <laughs> but Christmas 2023. I'm not saying I'll put a special out. I'm just saying I will have enough material for a special. I don't. Right. Think, I don't see myself doing a special until like I'm 10 years in. Right. I honestly don't. I think I'll be doing comedy for like 10 years before I before I even remotely think about putting out a special. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to be. In, so I'm not trying to be me, Brandon Schaub at, by any right. stretch of the imagination. Right. And I don't know that I, I know that I'm not even remotely at any level. In all honesty. I'm really green at this, and I I admit that. And I'm happy to have opportunities to get my chances at, at these clubs or wherever. And I'm grateful to all the comedians that have pushed me and helped me along the way. But I don't think I'll be ready to do any of the what the big. But dogs you'll have do. an hour worth. But of, I'll have an hour's worth of material, which means at any given time I'll be able to do it. I can, yeah, yeah, I'll be able to do a like ten that. minute, twenty minute set, fifteen yeah. minute, and I'll be able to go in and 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 you know maneuver my bits for the crowd. Right, which is what I want. That's yeah. really what I want. So by the end of twenty twenty three, by the end by Christmas of next year, yeah. Well, by the end of twenty twenty four, I will have approximately two jokes. Okay, <laughs> so about five ten minutes two jokes. I could be like you know an opener. <laughs> you can be the host. By Christmas say, of twenty twenty four. You can. Okay. You'll be able to host. I'll be, right. Yes, I'll you'll be the host. You'll be ready to host. Yeah. Hey, are there any birthdays out there? <laughs> Fuck your birthday. Nobody cares. This first comedian. So. People only know that because of Facebook. Anyways, um, yeah. So I don't know. It's again, I, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to, for the comedian, and I've met the locals. I met the local comedians. I know I got a lot of their freaking numbers, and they started following me on Instagram. And it's it's a great little crowd, and 100. percent You guys out there. Uh, Sean Scoville, freaking Seamus, all these guys that I'm meeting at these open mics. It's freaking Lee Smith. It's all these guys, all these comics that are coming. Now, you know, mark those names. Keep in mind those names because years from now when those guys are big, I'll be like, hey, we started. <laughs> Remember when we were at that one dive bar? In those years, in these, Remember- some years when these guys are big. Bob would be like, I started with those guys. And yeah. You guys And they surpassed me a I, lot. I know those guys. I know them. I they see. they're doing stadiums and I'm Yeah, and I, here I am at this dive bar. <laughs> <laughs> Let's deal with cell phones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I actually have a cell phone. We're working at Anyways, the fucking laundromat. I have a <laughs> I'm fucking I have a cell phone bit. Do you? Yeah. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Anyways. Eh. Um, I think that about wraps that's, it up for that our needs, show. That kind of wrap needs to wrap it up. 
Uh, yeah, we've gone. We haven't gone to an hour yet, but uh, we are. We have a whole bunch of other things that we've still got to take care of. So. Yeah, and you're and still just getting coming better. Back. Like you're still. I'm still I, can, I can hear it, dude. I'm still stuffy. I, I mean, me too. I also just feel like I got hit by a fucking truck because because the holidays. It's just yeah, it's been crazy ever since a hurricane. You think so? For me, uh, it's just been busy, 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 busy. Oh, busy, I don't, busy, busy, we did. You know, what we didn't talk about on. I don't think we. I know we we talked about it on Patreon, but I don't think we talked about. It. I don't know if we talked about it to the public, but um, we did end up raising over a thousand dollars. Did we talk yes. about this already? Maybe we did talk about this. It was over a thousand dollars for that displaced family during the hurricane. So we thank you, all of our people on Patreon who came, who donated, and uh, who even went above and beyond to donate. And some of them people to give to that family. So they had an amazing Christmas. And yeah, great. They're so thankful. Um, I can only hope that they hear this podcast and know that uh, we were grateful and glad to be able to help them out. And, yeah, um, absolutely. Again, we're not. I'm not saying who they are. They're not giving out any names, but just know that we want all our fans to know that that family was super yes. appreciative. Um, to absolutely. The highest you regards. guys, you guys made the Christmas. Yeah, their so, Christmas. Like it was. That was awesome. Yeah. And now I'm wondering, we're like, what else can we? What other things can we do? With the little, with the little bitty crowd that we have, and this little bitty, this little bitty power of this podcast that we have, I'm wondering if there's anything else. I'm out sure there. there's things that'll come up in the future. I'm not trying to be that guy outside the grocery store. It's all like, it, hey, ringing a bell. You could save this child <laughs> for it, no, like you know what I mean. Like we're, we're not. Yo, we'll, got, we'll get there. Side note: I got an amber alert or uh, silver alert the other day. Did you get this on your phone like no. yesterday or day before? I have T-Mobile. No. Okay. So <laughs> T-Mobile they're like, don't give a they're like, fuck. They're like, don't tell the, the people. They're like, don't alert the T-Mobile people. They're not gonna find them. <laughs> they probably <laughs> the ones that kidnapped them. Fucking, yeah. Are you kidding? Exactly. Uh, no. The <laughs> I got this silver alert on my phone, and it was a text message. It was like a te- it was like a text message that was like ah silver alert. Uh, it's weird. Yeah, it was, uh, over seventy eight years old at this location on the, lost on this street and wearing this color shirt, and I was like. Who text me this? <laughs> but it was like an alert. New phone, who this? Yeah, it was an alert. <laughs> and then and literally like an hour and a half later, I get another text. That was like, we found him. Thanks. I'm like, what? <laughs> but it wasn't like a regular, I thought it was like a text. Like Silver somebody- alert is uh, elderly, right? Right, 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 right. Yeah. So I thought it was like, oh, it's like a text. Of, oh, I thought maybe, oh, it's like something like an alert alert, like a notification alert. But then I was like, is a text message from somebody? Like, am I supposed to be, am I friends with somebody who's lost a grandpa? What happened? Oh, but it was an actual, God. it was an actual alert. It was a real. A great idea. What's that? I'm so putting out a silver alert on your next birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's legal to do a fake silver alert to you big guy. <laughs> We're not that far apart. We're going to figure it out. We're going to wander around Epcot and we're gonna be able to put a silver <laughs> alert out to every phone at Epcot. I almost Me cried too. I almost cried tears of joy the other day. Why is that? I got my first directing credit on IMDb. Yeah, I am, don't cry just yet. I talked to you about that too. So, all right. <laughs> I'm not trying to burst your bubble. Great. So, I'm not trying to burst your bubble. I might still cry. <laughs> you might not tears of joy. You might be crying again. Awesome. <laughs> because it's it's in it's just labeled as in development, so it doesn't. I know count. Okay. No, I know, but it okay. still it still counts to me. That's what the bubble verse was. Nope. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be the guy holding the fucking boom. You're mic. You're not gonna be the guy holding the boom <laughs> mic. That's the type of stuff we're gonna end up talking actually more about on the stand up and film podcast. Yeah, so, so definitely subscribe now. It's available right now. You can see the trailer for it on Spotify for the stand-up and film podcast so you can definitely go and you can subscribe and start getting ready to listen the first episode drops january 18th i think it's either january 18th or january 23rd i'm not 100 percent on which date it is i think it's the 18th it's the okay. first, first episode for stand-up and film podcast with that being said thank you all for listening thank you all for watching peacock's up and we will see you next week bye guys